Hello and welcome to 11 Alive Midday. I'm Aisha Howard. Today, multiple states, including parts of Georgia, bracing for the impact from Hurricane Debbie. The Category 1 storm made landfall in Florida this morning, where both President Joe Biden and Florida's governor have declared a state of emergency. This new video we're seeing here is showing us some of the damage left behind from Debbie. People in Cedar Key, Florida, they are dealing with severe flooding and downed trees along with power lines. Let's get a live look right now. This is actually Inglewood Beach in Florida sort of looks like the calm after the storm, but we're still seeing some of those waves crashing on shore and also the winds blowing through those trees right now. Meanwhile, here in Georgia, Governor Brian Kipp has declared an emergency executive order for 2000 National Guard troops to help with the cleanup and recovery efforts in response. The wood could come from Hurricane Debbie. Let's get straight to meteorologist Chesley McNeil with your weather impact forecast. Chesley, let's talk about where Debbie is now and what Georgia could experience. That's still over Florida made landfall but slowing down a little bit. It was moving to the northwest at about or northeast rather at about uh, 16 miles per hour, but now down to about 10 miles per hour has made landfall and now down to a tropical storm winds around the center of circulation about 70 miles per hour and that's going to continue to weaken as it continues to push further up into our state. Now you can see the heavy rain associated with this now moving into the southern portions of the state over toward the east as well. You got that orange shore flow coming in and so the brunt of the storm will be felt there again over into the southern and central portions of the state uh, and that's where you find the center of circulation still over toward Florida but we'll be moving further off to the north you got all that onshore flow coming in and so yeah it's going to be wet and uh, you're talking about a good maybe 10 to 12 inches in parts of uh, South Georgia and over toward the east for us not a whole lot going on right now there's a better look at it now again made landfall this is a uh, cross city uh, just to the east of that over toward a place called Stein Hatchie uh, that will continue to slide further off to the north weaken somewhat but will spread clouds clouds our way. We got the sunshine out there right now. In fact, it looks pretty good. Those clouds will continue to move in and we may get an isolated shower too. Not much rain here. Most of that will be felt down into the south and east. Right now we're looking at temperatures right around 83 degrees. Looks beautiful on the outside. A couple of cumulus clouds around 83 in the city, 84 degrees in Duluth. You got 81 over toward Athens, 80 up into Blairsville, 79 in Clayton. You're still stuck in the 70s there and also over toward Carrollton. You're at 79 degrees, but everyone making it up into the 80s today. I think the clouds will have something to say about our high temperature today. We'll get more clouds pushing in plus an easterly flow and those winds start to pick up on us just a little bit. Anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour sustained winds. Gusts could be in the 20 mile per hour range. Of course, we'll talk more about that coming up. 88 for the afternoon high. Some spots may get up to 90 for a high temperature today. And again, only a few of us will see an isolated shower or two that will linger into about seven o'clock and then things will start to diminish and then we'll do it all over again for tomorrow with those winds coming back to us. We'll talk more about that and the storm and the full forecast cash straight ahead. Aisha. All right, Chesley, thank you. Right now, preparations continue for the impacts of Hurricane Debbie. The Red Cross has about 200 volunteers that are already on the move. 11 Alive Sherry Carnes shows us how they're prepping and getting into place. In Brunswick, near the Georgia coast, homeowners rush to prepare for the arrival of Debbie, filling sandbags that will be used to keep floodwaters out. We do know that in certain areas of Savannah, the water's coming. It's going to be a steady, slow thing, and uh, it may increase to where areas that normally did not flood will flood. Debbie has already introduced itself to portions of Florida with rain heavy enough to swamp areas of Pinellas County. This is just the beginning as Debbie threatens to march across Florida into southeast Georgia. We've been preparing for days at the Red Cross. We've been monitoring the weather forecast. We're right now mobilizing all of our people and our resources and moving them into position. The Red Cross has volunteers in Georgia who are trained to respond to the impacts of violent storms. We really provide that safe shelter for individuals who aren't able to return back to their homes, feeding, as well as emergency cleanup supplies, emotional health support, and also what we call health services. Georgia power crews are among the many poised to respond to areas left in the dark. Before a storm, we encourage our customers to have an emergency kit. This would have any batteries, flashlights, any chargers, any medications that you may need in, a, in the event of losing power. The Georgia Department of Transportation has crews ready to clear any roadways that may be impacted by water or debris scattered by Debbie's wind and rain. Jerry Carnes, 11 Alive News.
GDOT tells us their crews are currently working to clear storm drains of any debris so that they can handle the heavy rain. However, those crews will have to stop work if the winds reach speeds of 40 miles an hour. To stay up to date on the weather impacting your area, just scan this QR code you see right there on your screen. Download the 11 and Live mobile app for free. Once you download it, you can sign up for weather alerts that impact your specific location.